Number 86. During a recent winter month in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, it was necessary to obtain 3,500 kilowatt hours of heat provided by a natural gas furnace with 89% efficiency to keep a small house warm. And the efficiency of a gas furnace is the percent of the heat produced by combustion that is transferred into the house. So now we're on letter B. It says, how many liters of LPG liquefied petroleum gas would be required to replace the natural gas used. Assume that LPG is liquid propane, and they tell us a couple of things. They say that C3H8 is propane. It has a density of 0.5318 grams per mil, and the enthalpy of combustion is 2,219 kilojoules per mole for the formation of CO2 gas and H2O liquid. Uh, And the furnace used to burn the LPG has the same efficiency as the gas furnace. So we did a lot of work in part A that's going to transfer over here. The efficiency is the same as the gas furnace, and they told us that that efficiency was 89%. Now, when we did the work for A, we found out with that 89% efficiency and the 3,500 kilowatt hours, it's going to take 1.416 times 10 to the 7th kilojoules total amount of heat to heat the house. If you want to know where we got this number, go back to the previous question. That's in letter A. But that's all we need. Now we're just ready to rock and roll. So they're telling us that now we're going to use propane, right? And we have to start with what we're given. And the only thing that they give us is basically the enthalpy of combustion is 2,219 kilojoules per mole of the propane. So what I can do is I can just start doing dimensional analysis, right? If I have a total amount of heat of 1.416 times 10 to the seventh kilojoules, right? And I don't want to use that anymore. I'm going to times that by ratio. I'm going to start saying that it's from the propane. Kilojoules on the bottom. And now I'm going to incorporate the enthalpy of combustion for the propane, aka the LPG. So I'm going to say mole of C3H8. All right. Well, the kilojoule is the number, 2,219 kilojoules. But now what, what, you know, how many moles, right? Well, technically, this should come from the balanced equation of the combustion reaction. But since this is a combustion reaction, technically, you always have one mole of whatever you're combusting. So in that balanced equation, we would have one mole of the propane. If you want to write the balanced equation, C3H8, go for it. You'll see that we still have one mole, all right? So kilojoules will cancel out. Now I have moles of the propane. Well, I still need to get into a liter, or not a liter, but a volume, right? Oh, that's why they gave me the density, because I could go from grams to milliliters, and that's a unit of... Um, uh, volume, right? (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So what are we going to have to do? We have to go from moles to grams, right? So times by the ratio, this is just going to be one long conversion. Mole of C3H8 on the bottom, gram of C3H8 on the top, because I'm going to try to convert from a mass to a volume. This is using your periodic table, right? One mole of the propane equals what the mass is on the periodic table. So I got three times 12.01 plus eight times 1.008. I get roughly 44.094. That's a little, let's see, I can move that over. 44.094, cancel this out. Now I have grams, but I'm not at my final destination, so I'm just going to keep running with it. I'm now going to use this conversion factor. So times again, throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom, C3H8, the grams, and I'm going to use the density. The density specifically said that it was grams. I got that part down. And now the other part is milliliters. So milliliter of C3H8. They said that it was 0.5318 grams, so that number has to go where the 
the unit gram is, so it's going to go on the bottom. So 0 0.5318 on the bottom per mil, so that's one mil. Cancel out the grams. All right, we're almost there. We need gallons. We're at milliliters, but this is cool because now we're just in um, units of volume. Now, I wrote down the conversion here that one gallon equals 3.785 liters. If you want to just convert this into milliliters, what would we do? Because technically I have milliliters here, right? So if I wanted, I could just multiply this by a thousand. That's how I go from liters to mils, right? So now it would be 3,785 mils. And now I can say that one gallon, which is 3.785 liters, is the same as 3,785. So I'm going to, milliliters, right? So I'm going to use these two numbers because they're all equal to each other. So times by a ratio, mil of C3H8 on the bottom, and now gallon of the C3H8 on the top, one gallon, right? That's what it said in my conversion factor. One gallon equals 3,785 mils. Cancel the mils out. And now look, guys, we're done. Let's just make sure that we have all these right numbers. 1.416 times 10 to the 7th divided by 2219 times 44.098 divided by 0 0.5318 divided by 3785. Woo. So now how many liter, uh, how many gallons? A lot of gallons. 100, we'll say 140, I guess. Um... I'm looking at it here, maybe I see four sig figs, so maybe I'll just say 139.8 gallons of the uh, propane, aka the LPG. So whether you say LPG, whether you say propane, doesn't matter, it's the same answer, 139.8 gallons. And there you go. So hopefully this helped, what'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. That would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for that. Um, good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, and I'll see you in later lessons. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.